Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with Sheriff Don Mitchell and his officers arresting Gabriel, a former convict. Soon, Gabriel is granted parole and informed that he can reintegrate into society. Next, a mysterious lady drives a security van while Gabriel, armed with weapons, prepares for a heist. The security guard enters a bank, and as he does, Gabriel's associates emerge from his car, surround the guard, and execute a daring robbery. FBI agents Brett and Jordan meet Sheriff Dan, who briefs them on the incident involving three masked gunmen robbing the bank, and leaving a witness behind. In a secret room, Pike Gabriel counts money alongside Whitman Raider, who discusses the situation and introduces the idea of a high-paying bank job, orchestrated by a mysterious figure named Devland. Gabriel agrees to Raider's proposal, sealing the deal with a handshake. Meanwhile, Brett and Jordan interrogate the security guard, trying to unravel the details of the robbery. Gabriel and his team, armed and ready, venture into a jungle for an undisclosed mission. As Brett and Jordan continue their investigation with Sheriff Dan, a mysterious character named Wesley adds a dark twist, dousing a car in gasoline. Suspense builds as Gabriel's team prepares for their next move, intertwining their story with the unfolding investigation led by the determined FBI agents. Gabriel sets a car on fire with a lighter. He and his team attend a wake, where tensions rise among the members, leading to a heated confrontation. After the altercation, he retreats to his room, discreetly stashing the stolen money in a plastic bag concealed within a paint bucket. He watches a video alongside Brett and Jordan, attempting to analyze the details of the robbery. He attempts to call Brett, who avoids the call. As they review the video, Gabriel spots a crucial detail and realizes that someone in the footage was conscious during the heist. He takes to the road once again, his destination unclear. Meanwhile, Don, now working in a restaurant, spots him. A troubling incident unfolds as a boy harasses Don, prompting Gabriel to intervene. Don questions his presence, and Gabriel expresses a desire to meet and have coffee, attempting to engage with him. However, Dawn is guarded and accuses Gabriel of feigned concern. She reveals her mother passed away long ago, mirroring Gabriel's loss. When he inquires about the boy harassing her, she dismisses his concern, asserting that she deserves better. Despite his attempt to connect, she coldly suggests he order something or leave. Despite the strained encounter, Gabriel orders coffee from her, who bluntly expresses her desire to never see him again. As he receives the coffee, he cleverly conceals the stolen money at the bottom of the cup and departs. In the FBI office, Jordan diligently works on the robbery case, impressing Brett with her dedication. FBI agent Robert provides Brett with a file, revealing that there are no fingerprints or DNA traces on the robbed SUV. However, they can potentially trace the owner through the VIN number. Brett instructs Robert to locate the owner and bring them in for questioning. The investigation takes a compelling turn as the FBI delves deeper into the mystery surrounding the heist. Following the briefing on the case, Brett moves towards a water bottle machine. Albright, a seasoned figure, joins him and engages in a conversation about the ongoing robbery investigation. Albright imparts advice reminiscent of the wisdom he once shared with Brett's father, the realization that not every case can be won. The two share a moment of understanding before parting ways. Meanwhile, Gabriel is seated, holding printed documents. A man approaches and takes a seat across from him, demanding 5% of the job. Without hesitation, Gabriel hands over a substantial amount, $25,000, sealing the agreement with a handshake before he departs. Moving on to Gabriel taking a bath, perhaps symbolizing a cleansing or preparation for what lies ahead. He arrives at a house, where he meets his father, Reuben. The two engage in a conversation, offering a glimpse into Gabriel's personal life and the complexities that drive his actions. Next, Weasley enters a bar, enjoying drinks and engaging with the bar patrons, generously distributing money. Elsewhere, a car pulls into a garage, revealing Gabriel inside. Marco begins repairing the car, and inside the garage, Weasley talks to Marco Dallas. Dallas instructs Weasley to clean the floor, causing irritation. He mentions that Gabriel requested this task, prompting Weasley to begrudgingly comply. Gabriel drops Marco off at his house, where Marco's wife and child are present. They share a family dinner, and in a private moment, Gabriel confides in Marco about his strained relationship with Dawn. The two bond over drinks, and Gabriel reveals that the upcoming job will be his last. Despite the camaraderie, they discuss the importance of the money involved. Later, a news report is broadcast about a recent robbery in which Phillips, the bank guard, was killed. They watch the news and Weasley, playing a game with Maddie in a bar, realizes he's connected to the crime, and becomes uneasy. 
At the hospital, Brett and Jordan face questions from reporters about their responsibility for the incident. Brett asserts their commitment to catching the criminals. Back at the bar, Weasley gets into a fight over Maddie and pulls out a gun. Raider intervenes, disarming and initiating a violent confrontation with others. Gabriel and Marco discuss the news, with Gabriel expressing his determination to end the criminal activities. However, he struggles to articulate his plan to Marco. Gabriel confronts Weasley at the bar, demanding he get in the truck. Weasley, referring to Raider as a hero, departs, leaving Gabriel visibly angered. After Raider confesses to shooting three people on behalf of Weasley, Gabriel sternly warns him to stay away from his brother, and drops Weasley off at his house, concerned, and follows him inside. Inside, a tense argument unfolds between the two brothers. Both haunted by their past actions and the repercussions, Weasley reveals the trauma he experienced in Iraq and the guilt he feels for killing the armed guard, Philps. He suggests Gabriel take a bank job, who adamantly refuses, emphasizing that he is doing everything to protect Weasley. The conversation ends with Gabriel walking away, leaving the strained relationship hanging in the air. On the law enforcement side, Jordan gathers information from the car owner, revealing that the vehicle had been taken to the garage for servicing. She informs Brett that they discovered a GPS device inside the burned car, providing a breakthrough in the investigation. Jordan elaborates on how the thieves created a fake car and tracked it to facilitate the robbery. Brett is visibly impressed by Jordan's deduction skills, recognizing the progress made in unraveling the heist. As Gabriel Rader and Devlan prepare for the bank job in a parking lot, Brett celebrates his birthday with his family. However, the festivities are interrupted when he receives a call revealing the connection between Robert and Jordan Remy, and the unfolding criminal activities. Gabriel examines the documents provided by Devland, unaware that he is being observed by a vigilant FBI agent. The tension builds as the pieces of the puzzle come together. Gabriel, concerned for Dawn's well-being, goes to the restaurant to meet her, only to discover that she is in the hospital, having suffered severe injuries. In a poignant moment, Gabriel learns from the doctor that Dawn is pregnant. Faced with this revelation, Gabriel implores Dawn to come with him, offering her a chance at a different life, and she agrees. Gabriel, determined to address the source of Dawn's suffering, seeks Weasley's help. Together, they confront Eddie, with Gabriel entering Eddie's house and delivering a beating before leaving. As the narrative unfolds, Brett meets with Remy, and Gabriel, having settled matters with Eddie, plans to leave town with Dawn after two days. While Robert Jordan and Brett intensify their efforts to crack the robbery case, suspicions lead them to focus on Raider. The trio decides to bring in Weasley for questioning, believing he may have valuable information. In a nighttime operation, the FBI apprehends Weasley and interrogates him about Raider. Despite the pressure, Weasley remains tight-lipped. Brett, desperate for leads, shows Weasley a photo of Gabriel, offering him a deal to provide information about Gabriel in exchange for leniency. Meanwhile, Gabriel practices shooting with Marco, unaware of the unfolding events. Weasley eventually breaks and reveals critical information, causing both Gabriel and Marco to become apprehensive. The next day, Brett confronts Gabriel in the garage, showing him incriminating photos. The FBI conducts a raid on Gabriel's office, escalating the tension between law enforcement and the criminal underworld. Dawn, sensing the impending danger, packs her belongings and leaves Gabriel's house. At night, Gabriel returns home to discover the devastation left behind by the FBI's search. On another front, Weasley, seeking refuge, hops into a car driven by Maddie. The narrative takes an unexpected turn as Brett receives a call. Gabriel Marco Weasley and the entire group convene to discuss their plan. Before departing, Gabriel approaches Raider, inquiring if he has anything to share. Raider denies any additional information and leaves, leaving an air of tension. Brett informs Robert and Jordan that they were unable to locate Weasley and Gabriel. The news adds to the growing frustration and pressure on the law enforcement team. Meanwhile, Gabriel meets his father and encounters Max, handing him a note specifying where money should be deposited. Brett appears visibly troubled. In another part of the story, a man approaches Raider, seeking information about his younger brother's killer. Raider accepts money and provides a note with the word Flamingo. Weasley, with Maddie, discards his medicine, and is seen preparing to leave with her. As he loads Salmon into the trunk of a car, an unknown assailant shoots him. Gabriel calls Dawn, saying new beginning. Later, Dawn cuts her hair. Gabriel and Marco, armed with weapons, confront Raider about Weasley's whereabouts. Following the confrontation, Raider joins Gabriel and the group, as they head to commit a bank robbery. Unbeknownst to them, the FBI is closely monitoring their every move. As they enter the bank, 
Pike points a gun at a lady, but Gabriel intervenes and shoots Pike. Exiting the bank with Marco, they rush to a waiting car, which is then fired upon. Simultaneously, the FBI observes the events unfolding, keeping a vigilant eye on Gabriel and his group. Tragedy strikes as Marco succumbs to his injuries while being transported to the hospital. In a harrowing decision, Gabriel sets the car on fire, engulfing Marco in flames. Undeterred by the loss, he enters a bar, where he confronts and shoots Raider in the chest. Inside the bank, a lady hands an envelope to Brett, initiating a chain of events. Jordan and Robert brief Brett about the entire incident, including who shot Raider. Sheriff Dan arrives, revealing the FBI's collaboration with the local police department, leaving Brett bewildered. Amidst the unfolding chaos, Albright enters the bank, catching Brett's attention. In a surge of emotions, Brett punches Albright, adding a personal touch to the intricate web of the unfolding drama. On another front, Tom shoots at Gabriel at a petrol station, setting the stage for a climactic confrontation. While Dawn patiently waits for Gabriel, standing alone on a beach, looking back and smiling. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.